empty interfaces should be used with caution. As a Go proverb says, the empty interface says nothing. In fact, the empty interface type carries no information at all and therefore can be used in all sorts of wrong ways. Here is a gotcha that is related to Boolean expressions and comparisons. This code creates a slice of empty interfaces and initializes it with a Boolean, an integer and a string value. Then it reads the first element from the slice and prints its value and its dynamic type. When we run this, we get the expected output. Now since e appears to be a Boolean value, we can use it in an if condition, right? Let's try this. The output is not quite the expected one. The error message tells us that e is of type empty interface, which is correct, as we have taken this value out of a slice of empty interfaces. To make things more mysterious, let's see what happens when we change the if expression to e equals true. Now the code compiles again, and e behaves as if it was a boolean. What happened? First of all, the compiler is right when rejecting if e, because e is an empty interface and not a boolean expression, and Go does not do any autoconversion of types. However, when we change the if condition to if e equals true, then we tell the Go runtime to compare an empty interface against a boolean value, and this is indeed possible. The language reference explains why. In section comparison operators, it says, a value x of non-interface type x and a value t of interface type t are comparable when values of type x are comparable and x implements t. They are equal if t's dynamic type is identical to x and t's dynamic value is equal to x. Mapped to our code, value x is the boolean value true, the non-interface type x is bool. The value t is our variable e. And the interface type t is the empty interface. So we can observe the following. Booleans are comparable. Booleans implement the empty interface, because every type does. E's dynamic type is bool, hence identical to the type of true, which is a literal boolean value. And T's dynamic value is true, which is equal to the literal value true. As an alternative option to E equals true, we also could have used a type assertion to reveal the dynamic type of E. The downside of this approach is that the assertion panics if E's dynamic type is not bool. So in a nutshell, remember that Go has no automatic type conversion, and interface values are first and foremost of type interface. Their dynamic type is hidden inside until it gets revealed by a type assertion or an operation that is able to evaluate the dynamic type of an interface, as it is the case with comparison operations. And another takeaway. Whenever you stumble upon some unexpected behavior of the Go compiler or the Go runtime, the language reference is your friend. And that's it for today's QuickBit episode. See the channel for more episodes or visit my blog at appliedgo.net or my Go courses site at appliedgo.com. Happy coding! Mm -hmm.